Hey guys, it's Louis coming at you another video. Um, I wanted to talk about airbrushes. Yes, airbrushes. Now, I'm not doing any review. I'm not saying this airbrush is better than another airbrush or, or that airbrush is better than this one. What I'm, I'm what I'm doing is just you know I'm I'm just making a video showing you guys the airbrushes that I have. So we're gonna start with airbrush number one. Uh, this is a Pache VL. It's a bottom feed, which I'm not a really a big fan of bottom feeds. Um, but uh, this was a gift given to me by a friend uh, from work. He told me that he saw this airbrush at a thrift store for three dollars and he bought it now when he told me that uh, I was like well it probably it's probably trash you know and and he said well you want to look at it and I was like sure we went out outside to his car and he pulled this out and I was just surprised on the condition that it was it, it works you know it has good trigger action um, it just needs cleaning uh, maybe replacement of the needle on the nozzle and it should work you know uh, it feels feels good um, when when I you know I kind of looked at it and I saw you know that it was okay he said would you like to have it and I was like what are you sure do you, do you want me to own this and he goes, yeah, it's actually a weight of me the same. thank you, because what he was talking about is I painted one of his Hot Wheels uh, white. He had a, a little truck that he that he wanted to paint white, so I did it for him. You know, I messed off all the, the windshields and stuff, and I painted it. So this was his way of saying thank you. So my plans with this airbrush is, and if you guys own this airbrush and know where I could get parts for it, Give me a call, or give me a call. I mean, give me a, a PM, or put it on the comment section. And yeah, uh, my plans are to just restore this airbrush. You know, it shouldn't be too expensive. The hair patchy uh, parts are, are really affordable. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. My next airbrush is the Neo. Neo for Iwata. No buy Iwata, but it's for Iwata. There's a couple of good reviews on the uh, on the Neo on YouTube right now. Um, it's really good. It's a really good uh, airbrush. You guys see me uh, using it on my videos. This is my workhorse right now. Um, you could do detail to a certain extent, but. Um, it, it, it really works. I don't think that you should be taking shortcuts to when it comes to airbrushing. You, you sh what, I, what I mean by that is you shouldn't be buying cheap airbrushes. Now there's a difference between being cheap and buying an affordable airbrush. You know, um, this is an affordable airbrush. It is good quality. It works really, really good and it comes with a five-year warranty which i think it should have a um, lifetime warranty but uh it's backed by iwata's five-year warranty so um you know i gave it a try and i really really liked it all my models i painted with this airbrush it hasn't let me down so this is my second one um you guys can see me there yeah um really really good airbrush uh, I highly recommend it. You know, if you're starting airbrushing, you know, and you want to own an airbrush for a while and save up for a better airbrush, this is it. This is a good airbrush. You wouldn't be disappointed getting this airbrush. They also have the uh, the bottom feed. Uh, this one comes with different size cups. You know, you could take it off. It has a uh, a smaller cup, and also you could just use it like this. And drop a couple, um, you know, paints in there, a couple drops, and use it for fine detail. I, I really like this airbrush, guys. I don't, I don't think I'll ever get rid of this because it's a good, good backup and a workhorse kind of airbrush, you know. Um, so that's my second one. I'm gonna go ahead and put them here. 
My third one is, I gotta say, it's the most expensive airbrush I have. Now, when I say most expensive, I mean, I mean uh, in value. That doesn't mean that I pay for it, you know. But this is the HPC Plus from my water. Now this airbrush does fine detail. And when I say fine detail, I mean you could draw a line on a on an ant's butt, you know. Um, it's really, really good airbrush. But me being a moron, um, slipped out of my hand and I dropped it and you see where the nozzle seats right there there's a dent now that's part of the main body and what I'm gonna be doing with this airbrush I'm gonna be sending it to uh, to coast airbrush and they're gonna look at it the guy that I talked to I explained it to him he said you know what I'm 99.9% .9 that I could that I could fix it so send it to us so I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that this actually will work again it works right now it's just the the, the, the pattern it's a little crooked you know so but it works really good I, I try not to use it as much because um, I don't know <laughs> just every time I use you know I own something really expensive I try to take care of it so this is my third airbrush and I paid for I mean, this is a $250 even $300 uh, airbrush I think I paid like $80 for it through eBay so got a really 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 good deal okay but but oh ho, ho. yeah baby now this, and I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want people to take advantage of him, came out of the goodness of a friend's heart. Literally. I saw him at the show that I made the video for. Um, he's always, he was one of the first ones to actually take the airbrush to a show and show it to his, his fellow modelers. And he swears by it and right now this airbrush it's blowing the competition out of the water because of its value but because of the quality and the, the capacity that it has um, I'm talking about this this baby right here the chrome baby I got it so you know who you are if you're watching thank you very very much this I was actually saving money for for this airbrush this was gonna be my my Christmas gift and when he saw how passionate I was um, about this airbrush he actually said hey I could hook you up and I, I, at first I thought he was talking about a discount but no he I think he has like six of them and it's just he's like no I'll send it to you bro and uh, I mean I was just floored the same day I found out about my baby you know I get this free airbrush so you, you can't imagine what what's going through my through my head you know um, but yeah I've been looking forward to owning this and you know it was just a blessing that's what it is you know God puts good friends in your life and sometimes he blesses you like that and I'm gonna take care of it I'm gonna maintenance this puppy up when it's time uh, he actually fine-tuned it um, he did something to the trigger where it's a lot smoother um, the the needle I think he takes a uh, steel wool and he polishes the needle a little more uh, I mean the action on this thing is just amazing uh, so this is actually a little better I should say than the ones that you get out of the the you know the case when you buy it from Badger uh, because it's been tuned and the way I told them you know the way I like it I like it very very loose and and yeah it's just an amazing airbrush I'm looking forward to using this 
a lot of high detail capacities with this. Okay, so there you go. These are all my airbrushes. You know, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying, you know, find the one that you're gonna like. Take care of it, guys. Take care of it. Um, study airbrushing. You know, I'm subscribed to a couple of airbrush uh, artists. Um, you know, sadly, we, we lost one of them, Jamie uh, Rodriguez. We, we, we lost him. He was uh, sponsored by, by Badger, and he was one of my favorites. He talked about this airbrush all the time. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm subscribed to, to artists like that. I try to find as much as I can about airbrushing, um, about how to thin paints, you know. Get yourself some, um, some retarder, you know, use it on your, on your paints, you know all this stuff um lubricants for for the needles you know, all that stuff i mean I, I highly recommend it's not only about getting an airbrush it's about learning how to maintain it okay guys so i hope you guys found this entertaining uh, i just wanted to share with you the type of airbrushes that i own and uh, let me know what kind of airbrush you have you know but remember, I don't want this to turn into a big, big fight of like saying this airbrush is better than this or this is better than that. This is not why I made this video. I just wanted to share with you guys. Okay? Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace. Bye-bye.